hello and a warm welcome to all the lovely beautiful souls who have tuned into together divines and listening to our uh, podcast sessions watching our videos and participating in our group discussions right i would like to thank each and every one who have been actively you know pouring in lot of feedbacks messages comments across our videos and uh, do let us know in our endeavor of bringing out more and more videos for you on this twin flame connection if you would like to you know have clarity on anything particular regarding this twin flame connection as such and if you want to have a deeper level of understanding than regarding you yourself your energy or about this connection then we'll advise you to book your own personal session with us right so in our uh, you know recent series of covering and understanding the divine masculine energies a lot of quality contents have already been published do go and watch out to those videos from the playlist with the title like divine masculines and their qualities right so these are the videos wherein we'll be peeling out layer by layer the truth regarding this connection the truth regarding the energy of the divine masculine the divine feminines and we try to go get into more deeper level of understanding so join us in this journey and get clarity regarding the connection that you are into the person who is speaking in front of you is an energy reader a psychic a numerologist a vastu expert right a tarot card reader a relationship coach and you know many things which you know in my entire years of practice that i have you know as a hobby as a part of you know understanding and connecting to different people you know i have gained this insights so everything that you will get on our channel will be completely practical completely logical and yes a brutal truth we do not intend to keep you in any kind of a illusion just for the thing to hold on to our audience just to catch a grip of them by keeping them under the shadows of lies and illusion we don't do that shit so if you are willing to hear out the truth to understand this journey and your energy in a true aspect as it should be then do you know stay connected with us so today is again one of a very important topic which we will be discussing with you all guys right and uh, do watch this video full in complete you know silent and a calm state of mind and try to understand this connection better because today what we'll be revealing out will be again one of the certain aspect which i suppose really few or none of the channel will talk about talk about it right so
so today you will come face to face a brutal truth regarding this connection and the energy of the twin flames before listening to this video if we would like to urge you that if you have not watched our previous video on this topic then do go and watch that video i'll try to put the link on the i button if possible so that you know you can connect this video with the earlier video wherein we had discussed in depth regarding how a divine masculine is a master manifester and how they manifest this connection so regarding the how part you know we explained in our earlier video that the connection of the twin flames the twin flame journey is a initiation as a manifestation by the divine masculines they are the ones who initiate this with their manifestation abilities right but how they do it how is it possible why not the dfs being capable of manifesting the twin flame journey why not the other way around so today you will get the clarity regarding all these questions in this video so to participate to the full and pay your complete attention to this video i hope the music is going well with you as well and if you are hearing this video in night probably after this video you'll get a very sound sleep that is also our intention that the audience to together divines right from the beginning you see all the videos that we have created we see that you know we understand that you go through a lot of you know situations in life a lot of stress so at least through our videos at least through our content may you get a certain level of healing a certain level of peace certain level of calmness which is not happening in your life right so that is the intention with which you know we create our videos that at least from our videos through this medium you receive even some portion of divine grace and healing and the comfort okay so sit back and relax and watch this video so coming back to the topic how a dm or the divine masculine is a manning you know master manifester and uh, why not the divine feminines right so do understand each and every word that is being spoken in this video and the earlier video regard in this topic in this regard because each uh, you know word carries a lot of weightage and a truth you will have to watch it very carefully if you miss out if you do not understand rewatch the video but do get the heck of it what we are trying to explain it it to you right so if you happen to ask the divine masculine somewhere down the line if you get to have this conversation with the divine masculine firstly you have to understand that whether you are the divine masculine eventually listening to this or the other person is right so if you understand that yes you are a divine feminine and the other person is the divine masculine and you happen to ask a true divine masculine a true twin flame then you know they will reveal this truth that just before they met their divine feminine they were continuously in thoughts they are continuously asking they are continuously pleading to the universe to send someone in their life so that they can fulfill the inner void the inner gap shallowness emptiness in their life right 
because the kind of connection they want to have in this lifetime they do not get it very easily with anyone reason is being the divine feminines are full of love right so even though the divine feminines happen to interact with the karmic or with the false connection because they are so much in pure depth of ocean of love that even in a impure connection even with the karmics they don't feel that voidness or the gap you know because they themselves are a ocean of love energy but with the divine masculines because they are themselves not the ocean of love energy because their heart chakra is blocked because they understand everything only with logics only with their brains only with statistics only with mathematics that is the reason why you know even in any of the connection they had in their life they cannot establish an emotional connection very easily with the other person right so they have this continuous nagging of not having that deeper level of emotional connection with anyone in their lifetime so they will continuously plead to the universe ask the universe to at least send someone in their life so that their void can be fulfilled and in this process they start to manifest a person with all those attributes or things those qualities that would you know give them the solace now while i say this do not have the confusion about the list of checklist that the dms maintain and the list of inner qualities that the dm seeks in a love connection so having said that we'll have to create a separate checklist rather sorry a separate video wherein we'll discuss regarding how a divine masculine sees a connection a love connection and even their divine feminine as a package of a certain checklist that they have in their life and not as a soul connection primarily so that will cover in our next video but for today we'll stick to their manifestation abilities so what they do is that they manifest the divine feminines in their life and uh, you know like we said in our earlier video in the same continuation to this you know the earlier video in the same topic that while they manifest the divine feminine after the divine feminine appears in their life they behave exactly the opposite with them they forget that this person was as a result of a divine blessing a result of their wish fulfillment as a result of their manifestation and how they treat the divine feminine is that they treat very casually they try to take some benefit out of this person they try to think that how this person will be useful to me can i exploit the other person financially can i exploit the other person emotionally can i exploit the other person physically can i exploit the other person mentally because of some of their covert narcissist traits they seek to have the power supply the energy supply from the divine feminines as well so as and when the divine feminines enters the life of the divine masculine their inherent prompt action is how can i you know suck the benefits out of this person while in at the same time the divine feminine is seeking at how can i you know 
stabilize on this connection permanently such a beautiful soul connection which i had never experienced before right so all the although both are the twin flames of each other but their perception is completely different the divine masculines are comp- always analyzing on how they can you know take the benefit of this person you know that's their true intentions behind love shove is nothing of that sort for the divine masculines because for them to understand what is love it takes a hell lot of time and lessons and understandings and setbacks and many different realizations only then the divine masculine realize says whom they actually love and that's the divine feminine until then their only basic idea is that how they can cherish the benefits out of the other person in front of them right whether it's their you know divine feminine or whether it's their karmics divine masculine has this dark side of trying to manipulate trying to use the other person to the best of their advantage and as and when you know they see that okay they have used this person or they are getting highly emotionally connected with the other person they are getting weak for the other person they will completely shut down on this connection by disrespecting the divine feminine bluntly acting out of nowhere something or doing something which will hurt the divine feminine and they will run away from this connection after they run away what happens we have already discussed in the earlier video but in a summary this is the soul idea of how they manifest the divine feminine and how you know the divine feminine enters their life and what are the things they actually do with the divine feminines after they enter their life right and one of the thing is that whenever they shut down on the divine feminine they do it very suddenly without even giving a notice of it out of nowhere they shut down this connection right so understand that nothing happens in this universe without a valid reason right even for the universal truths like the birth and the death universe always has a solid reason to it right you know that any person born on this earth will die but the, does death happen without a reason no even for death universe gives a reason that he had a heart attack he fell you know he got into an accident he got affected by some disease or something like that although death was inevitable but universe always has a reason of why it happened to the person in same way although the twin flame connection is inevitable nobody can deny about it but even to bring this twin flame connection to the surface what happens is that universe gives a valid reason and the reason is manifestation of the divine masculines the universe says that this twin flame connection appeared you two met across the same plane because the divine masculine wanted it to happen so divine masculines are actually initiating internally this connection this story the charter i had but like we said a while ago what happens after they initiate this twin flame journey by themselves they forget about it completely they forget about this connection they forget about the other person whom they had themselves manifested and they try to belittle the person they try to use the person and they try to suck out the every possible benefit that they are getting from the other person be it emotionally physically mentally financially and whatever so but their sole intention is not to 
enjoy the, this connection, not to acknowledge this connection primarily, and rather, you know, make the professional benefits, you know, out of it. So they don't invest their emotions with the divine feminines while they meet the divine feminines at the first place. On the contrary to this, the divine feminines right from the first meeting, they have a genuine soul connection and a genuine investment of emotions on this connection. Right. So, the twin flame journey starts, it takes off as a result of the blessings of the universe and as a result of the manifestation of the divine masculines. Right. When there exists a gap in the heart of both the divine masculines and the divine feminines before they manifest this connection, the DF also feels the void, the DF also feels the gap, but the difference is that the DF's voidness is fulfilled with the depth of spirituality they have in their life. Right? The divine energy the divine blessings, the depth of spiritual, uh, you know, experiences of the divine feminine is way more deeper and vast, you know, compared to the divine masculines. Although the divine masculine on the outer level can pretend themselves to be spiritual or religious, right? But deep down, they lack the depth of spiritualism compared to what a divine feminine can experience in their life. And because of this, you know, when this twin flame journey has not started, the voidness that exists in the heart of a divine masculine is way more heavier, way more darker, way more vast compared to the voidness that a divine feminine will have in their heart right so on the external front you will see that divine feminines will be very much spiritual very much religious very much disciplined with their spiritual endeavors right but now you understand to the core context of this video that internally DMs are a long way ahead in terms of their spiritual elevation. Right. So we have to understand this on a 3D plane on earth the DFs are experiencing a deep spiritual you know experiences and connection with the divine. And getting their voidness filled, right? But on a higher dimension, the DMs are already a long way ahead in the spiritual elevation context. They have already reached that elevation. And there at the higher dimension, the divine masculine is waiting for the divine feminines to come and join them, right? Understand this paradox on the outer plane although the divine feminine looks very much spiritual and has a lot of spiritual experiences and all those things to share but on the internal plane the divine masculines are way more elevated and activated at higher dimension when it comes to spiritual elevation and that's the reason you see any person who is a twin flame and in a masculine energy will not be meditating much compared to the DFs who are running here and there trying to learn a lot of meditation techniques and doing meditation sessions and everything. Why? Because the DFs have to work hard so that they can reach to the level of spiritual activeness which their DM has already achieved internally at a higher dimension. Right? 
that's the reason why dms can manifest things very easily right even if you see in the terms of chakras a divine feminines bottom 3 chakras are blocked in most of the cases the root chakra the sacral and the solar plexus and these are the chakras responsible for your manifestation abilities which the dfs have got it blocked so how can they manifest a person unke aukat ki baat hi nahi hai they cannot bahar se jitna bhi dekh lo spiritual lag sakte hain dfs when they talk when they act dfs look far way more spiritual compared to divine masculines they have all the theories understanding of all the verses of the holy bible and the gita and the quran everything but internally dms at a higher dimension has already reached that spiritual maturity but on the physical plane on the 3d level they are acting very immature and childish and not having any kind of spiritual maturity to showcase and as this connection is a spiritual soul connection the dfs are what they are doing is putting in efforts to activate their chakras kundalini inner work so that finally eventually they can match up to the energy of the divine masculine so that they can match up to the level of what the divine masculine has already achieved and that's the reason why you see many of the divine feminines are running here and there to learn many kind of spiritual inquisitiveness things so that they can somehow you know activate themselves to match up to the level of divine masculines but the masculines are not doing it whether they are in a female body or a male body you will see most of the divine masculines are least bothered regarding the meditation practices of regarding the chakra activation or anything they are very casual about it dfs are very serious about it why because they are yet to reach that level of activation which their dms have already achieved understand this aspect on the other way around if we see from the chakras point of view also the upper four chakras of the divine masculines are blocked the crown chakra the third eye the throat chakra and their heart chakra and this is exactly why they do not understand the twin flame connection in true spirit in which it intends to be understood there can be many divine masculines who are in a position of divine feminines chasing this journey hearing such channeling videos but their understanding of this twin flame journey is still clogged with lot of darkness and clouds why because basically when their crown chakras are blocked when their third eye is blocked how can they get clarity regarding the truths of this connection it is only the divine feminines who have the clarity regarding this connection why because the divine feminines lower three chakras are blocked but the upper three chakras are open and that's why a divine feminine can shower with lot of unconditional love in this connection which the divine masculines aren't capable of doing it at all the divine feminines are very vocal about this connection they can speak out to their twin flame the divine masculine or any other person in their life they won't suppress their emotions why because for them to activate the throat chakra is very easy they can be vocal but for the divine masculines their throat chakras are also blocked so they succumb they die internally they are depressed souls 
they will suppress their feelings they live in the regret and above all a divine masculine lacks the clarity regarding this twin flame journey i have came across many of the divine masculines in a female body which who which you know they think that they have a lot of clarity regarding this journey but eventually when they take sessions with us and when they discuss you know their detailings about this journey it comes to a conclusion that they yet do not have the clarity regarding the twin flame connection as what a genuine divine feminine would have achieved a divine feminine who has meditated well and activated their crown chakra their third eye has a better clear clarity regarding this connection so that is also a kind of agony the divine masculines have to face that uh, contrary to what the truth lies they believe they develop rather a completely different picture of a false belief system of this twin flame connection and they believe it to be true it is very easy for a divine feminine a true divine feminine to be educated and given clarity regarding the truths of the twin flame connection truths or clarity regarding the spiritual aspects but it is very difficult to educate and awaken the divine masculine in true form because even though if they might be listening to such channeling videos or other twin flame channels if they are in the masculine energy there will be certain list of inherent mistakes or inherent a duplicacy of understanding of the reality of this connection and reality of many different spiritual aspects which only a divine masculine will be undergoing through that's why we advise you guys to get a clarity regarding what exactly your energy is this is the very much basic required for any one of you who thinks that they are in a twin flame connection and they recognize themselves as a twin flame first primarily understand what energy you are made of regardless of a female body or a male body understand what is your dominant energy whether you are a divine feminine or a divine masculine right only then you will be able to heal this journey only then you will able to have the true picture of what a twin flame connection is only then you will be able to take those exact steps what you need to take for which you were born on earth for which this twin flame connection was gifted to you by the universe only then you will stand up to this connection and initiate your soul purpose which is your biggest goal else you will be wandering like a lost fox in a deep dark forest unraveling here and there the small tits and bits of clues of this twin flame connection from random channels from st- some street smart people who are fooling you by not even disclosing the true energy which you are made of even to understand the other person if the other person is your twin flame or not you need to first understand yourself better that whether you are a divine feminine whether you are a divine masculine and most importantly whether you are a t- 
to inflame yourself or not because again a large chunk of people who are not even a twin flame have developed this false belief that they are already a twin flame because of certain twin flame related similarities have occurred in their life right so in our terms in our perspective getting the true awakening isn't about just knowing about this connection it isn't just about you know knowing that you know a twin flame journey has started it is actually about exploring the depths of spiritualism it is actually understanding and yourself at a deeper level a deeper understanding of yourself at the soul level what your soul is exactly made of when you understand the parts of the soul that was broken into pieces as a divine masculine and a feminine then which part are you exactly are you the divine masculine part or are you the divine feminine part dominantly right in a further videos we'll try to bring in clarity and guidance for you as well on these topics so do stay connected do shower in your feedbacks comments do motivate us so that we create more and more such educative videos for you may god bless you with the actual clarity regarding the twin flame connection and the actual clarity regarding your dominant energy at the soul level do watch this video again and the earlier video in this context so that you can understand this aspect better and correlate it with your twin flame journey having said that we'd like to you know wind up for today and see you in our next video so do take good care of yourself and your family good night and god bless